be making bases. All right. So in this lecture, now we're going to talk about counting and time. All right. We've already covered note lengths. We've covered quantization. The next mess me next thing to talk about is time. Now, in most in most urban or even pop or even EDM music, everything is based off of a time signature called four four time. All this means is that there's four beats per measure. OK, there's four beats per measure. All right. If you look in here and this is one measure, you see four beats. One, two, three, four. Again, this might sound basic, but it is important to understand because once we get into some of the other more advanced things, it's going to all make sense when we get there. So stay with me. All right. There's four beats in the measure. All right. Now they have a what's called down beats and up beats. All right. So when you're counting, the downbeat is the very first beat. So one. Then from there, I'm going to just delete these. We're going to play the metronome. You have two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Downbeat. Three, four. Downbeat. One, three, four. Okay. So it's important to understand that. Now, when it comes to music, there's also something that we don't really think about, and that's the upbeats. It's, it's something called and. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's just play the metronome here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right. I just want you to understand down and up beats. The down beat is at the very beginning of each um, particular beat in a measure. The up beat is the and. It's the one in the middle. Okay. So different instruments hit at different places on the grid. Okay. Or within a measure. Usually at rarely all the time, a kick drum is hitting on that down beat. And usually a clap or a snare, you could say is hitting on an upbeat, but depending on how you play your music, it's going to hit different places. Let me explain what I'm talking about. They have the different type of times. They have regular time, half time and double time. And the reason why there's different times, if, if you ever listen to music, right, and it sounds like the beat is switching up. They're still playing at the same speed, BPM, okay, beats per minute. But what they're doing is they're playing at a different time. Okay, so let me tell you how, how this usually works. Most hip hop and pop and all that type of music, they 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 do they play a kick drum on the on the one, and then they put, come over here and play like a clap or a snare on the three. So let's just play that and you see what I'm saying. One and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's hitting on the three. Okay. And of course, you can sit here and take the kick drum and play that somewhere else. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Depending on where you move it on the grid, you'd get a different pattern. Stay with me. Now, that's what we would call halftime. So most of the time we've been playing in hip hop and EDM and pop music in halftime. But what we're supposed to be playing in is regular time. Think about it like this. In halftime, you're playing the kick, the snare drum or the clap on the two beat and the four beat. OK, so check this out. Stay with me. 
I promise we're, we're going to go somewhere with this. I promise you. You're gonna, it's all going to make sense in here in a little bit. Just stay with me on this and get this concept here. Then they have something called double time. This is where it speeds up even more. Keep in mind, we haven't changed the BPM. We're just playing the notes, all right, in different places. So, and double time, your snare or claps are hitting on the and. Remember when I was doing counting? I was doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. In the beginning of the lecture, we saw, talked about there's also another aspect, which is the and. And it's the and is the 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 measure or the note, excuse me, not the measure, the note in between each measure. So it's one and two and three and four and and it can repeats and repeats and repeats. All right. So with double time, instead of playing the snare drum um, on a two and four or on a three, you're playing it in between that measure. OK, and so I want you to understand these concepts when it comes to your beats. OK, so the BPM is how fast or slow your music is going, your beats per minute. And that's why sometimes, you know, when you listen to like, say, techno music, they might have this super fast BPM, one over 64, right? And the kick drum is playing on the downbeats, okay? But then what people are doing is they're switching up and using different Time. So like they might use a double time for the kick and put the snare on half time or regular time. OK, and everything is based on where that snare or clap is, is hitting the snare. If the snare or clap is hitting on the three, then that's half time. If the snare or clap is hitting on the two and the four is uh, regular time. And if it's hitting on the ands, so in between each measure then that's double time, okay? And that's something very important to understand because in the next lecture, we're gonna be talking about triplets. And that's the whole aspect of this thing is it, it just keeps on going, it keeps on going, it keeps on going. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the next lecture. Thanks for watching, all right?